I don't even know what day it is, what's going on. All I know is we are finally out on the bike. The rain has gone away. And you, Sonic Moto fans, everybody out there, are going to get the story of how my Honda 919 almost destroyed itself. Ugh. That's, that's never a good day. So, this past weekend, we decided to go to the beach, Wrightsville Beach, actually, to be honest, here in North Carolina. That's about, I'd say, a two and a half hour trip out. So, I started my day, I think I left the house around 8.30 in the morning, met up with Noah and his wife, Raven, and we headed out. The first stop, her hands were just chilled. It was 40 degrees that day from the start. I had my heated gear on, and I had it plugged in because it was that cold. She was wearing, like, not so well uh, winter-proofed gloves. So at the first stop, I gave her my cool weather gloves, the uh, moose racing ones that I got recently, and uh, that saved her quite a bit. So major props to carrying multiple pairs of gloves and to uh, loan them out to other riders on your group rides, right? Yeah, now we're moving. Anyway, while we were uh, <laughs> sort of on this trip, it was getting towards lunchtime. So while we had Crux with us, we decided to go and meet up to head for lunch and meet up with Ape and his wife. So we started heading towards the beach where we'd eventually get lunch. And at a light, I noticed a lot of smoke from my bike, which is never a good thing. And I looked down, I'm looking at the gauges, nothing's out of the norm, nothing's high in temperature, no lights, thank goodness. But I did notice my left boot and my, my pants were just covered in some sort of liquid. And my first thought was like, did I spring a radiator hose? Because that radiator hose is right there by my left leg. It would make sense the most. Well, I cut the engine coast to a stop in the five lane freaking highway of hectic craziness. And we walked the bike over to the side of the road. And after a while of inspecting, I realized that it's oil. And everybody sort of freaks out. We're like, well, how much oil did you lose, Sonic? And uh, luckily it didn't happen over a long period of time, so I had oil in there and it all came out fast. You want to know how I lost all my oil? And I ended up losing about 3.5 quarts out of the 3.7 quarts that goes into this bike in about 100 feet. Um, it came out the oil filter. That's right, it came out the oil filter. For the past year and a half, I've been running K&N oil filters. They got that little sweet nut on the end that you can use to remove the oil filter after it's been on there. I don't recommend using it to torque it down. Um, and the one thing that I've heard in the past was that there was a bad batch of these things and that they would fail and that nut would pop off and it would be an oil filter explosion causing your oil filter to leak all the oil out of your engine. Well. That's exactly what happened. And that night, I actually started researching more, only to find out that it is still a common trend. So, I don't recommend you guys go with K&N oil filters anymore. Go OEM, go high flow. Uh, I will include the high flow uh, Amazon page, at least for the, my bike, so you guys could check out those and possibly browse around to get one for your bike because I think they're worth it. They're a third party, but the reviews are good on them, so I can't really uh, have any complaints about them. I've never tried them, but I doubt they could fail in the same way as a K&N. So yeah, there you have it. Ended up, uh, by the way, doing an oil um, filter and oil change on the side of the road to correct the issue where my oil filter exploded. I don't have that video as public, but if y'all go to my Patreon page, starting at a dollar a month, you can check out the videos and the content and all that jazz, that, uh, that of which was that roadside oil repair swap. You know, it was... It, what annoyed me the most was that I didn't have a camera running at the time of it happening because my memory card was full. And I was like, you know, we only got 15 minutes to really go. What could happen, right? Well, there you go. That could happen. Your oil filter's gonna explode. 